hello everyone welcome back to this new tutorial thank you for your support for the last uh, video and animation have been released on the channel and thank you for your support many of you just like the video and put some subscribe some likes some comments and it is nice to see some support from you and we gladly appreciate it so as i have promised we are going to make a tutorial on how to create an animation based on a single frame using the low score light group feature this feature is like uh, the one you find in corona and vire which is uh, i think a light mixer or in indigo and it is pretty powerful as you can see on my previous video so i have created this scene for you to see how powerful you can go and how crazy it can be so how to animate a light group using this call first you're gonna read this tutorial before so you have all the basic about the light group and how to set up light group for your lighting and you come to this tutorial to uh, understand the animation principle of light group okay i describe you quickly the scene here i have uh, this scene and we have a skylight and we also have some uh, uh, artificial light that you can see here you have this artificial light here and here and so on and we have some kind of small uh, multiple small light group light and look like fireflies everywhere okay quite beautiful and so how we we create light group you just come here as you can see in the previous tutorial and you had a new light group here I set up three light group one for the sky I name it sky for the sky you see here and the blue sky here I create another one firefly and I create another one which is garden light for all the light you see on the uh, the grass and the firefly will be for the small uh, particle light here on the top and when you finish to do something like this you launch your render and you end up with a render like this for the sake of the tutorial I let up the uh, computer running the the single frame and we end up with something like this the noise it and it's pretty nice for a 2k image lot of detail so now you have your light group set up so for for example for the sky i have just selected the light group here for the exterior light i set up the light here for each one in the shader you will have all the detail on the previous tutorial i just show you here and uh, so now we have the render and you have to click here create update light group before that make use node and you get uh, this gigantic node and you have to make the connection by clicking on this bam you have it you have all the light group and you can turn off and on each one let's say we want to turn off the firefly zero here and normally it updates and we have this we see only all the light but without the the fireflies and now we can enable them by putting one and we can increase the value make it blindly powerful so you can see we have everything working so let's say now that you want to animate all that <clears throat> the only thing you want to do is to just save everything in a uh, format so i will be going here in the output and switch to xr here and i will save every single light group here this one this one and this one as xr file so we start with the garden take the garden keep every setting to default and call it garden garden 
XR full float save I take the second one which is a firefly put it here firefly we have the firefly alone save it fireflies save and the next one which is the sky okay save it sky nice now that's all that is done you just um, make sure that you know the resolution of your initial render in our example it is 25 by 60 2k and we just open a new blender and we just put the same switch to the score go here put the same number for the camera you can also delete everything if you want come over here and you have this output for the rendering can come into the compositing say use nodes and of, instead of using the render layer you delete it and you add input image okay so you can uh, normally normally you are able to import multiple image but it's not possible here so we just uh, append three different image first one we take the garden after that the fireflies and now the sky <clears throat> okay we have our free light uh, ASR so now we need to create here the same uh, light group so one two three sky uh, garden and the next one which is uh, sky garden and which one fireflies yes fireflies okay and we just uh, click on create update light group okay you just need to add the render layer okay so it will, it will create uh, our connection so create the light group and you end up with something like this and what we need to do now is to replace every every input here by the corresponding uh, image here so we have garden which is the second garden here we have uh, sky which is the first and we have uh, fireflies which is the last one here so we have everything well set up and we are ready now we can simply come over here denoise it no matter what you do because everything is already denoised so just come over here and add a viewer node output viewer so we can see in the background everything now you come here in the view we reduce the size of the image so that we see what is happening here okay nice and you have your timeline here timeline okay 
and you can simply increase for example the the sky see you can even change the color a bit bluish you can make the fireflies stronger okay so you see it here everything is happening in, in real time so it is working so here now you go for the animation output so output here you select the folder let's say we take the same folder you select your output it can be png but for this tutorial i go for mp4 okay and let's say we start with uh, the fireflies off for example so i put uh, insert keyframe here so i have a keyframe there and the firefly will be off for two seconds or maybe more we set another keyframe and i will gradually put the light in the fireflies here to reach uh, three or maybe more five seven seven so i insert another keyframe here and after that i want to switch off the the sky completely so from here to here i want the sky to be zero and set a keyframe so the sky will switch to zero quicker here so i put this one here so the switch will be a little bit slower and uh, let's say i want to from here i want to just insert the keyframe for the garden insert the keyframe here and from there to maybe two seconds here i want to decrease the power to let's say zero insert keyframe and now we have our animation so if you change the timeline normally you will get the update <coughs> excuse me so you see here everything is updating correctly and we have the sky which is zero from here it should not be the case so let me just switch the sky to one here okay and set the keyframe yes 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 okay yes okay i just forget to to add a keyframe for the sky before i switch off the sky so now we can switch off it okay you see okay nicely working and now you are set for the render you can just uh, press uh, control f12 okay you have to put a camera otherwise blender will not render anything even if you don't use the same but only the we are only using the we are only using the the light group and the sr file here okay so i delete everything and control f12 and it start to render everything and at the end we will get our render so as you can see the principle is just simple and for those of you who wonder how i made this end everything you found in this scene is made uh, with the luscore online library you can just find here on the end panel 
after you install your loose call you get it here and you can see that uh, you have a lot of stuff here and here is the light i was using on the garden this one and also i have been using this one yes some light from here and i was using a chair two chair from this this one and this one so you can test it yourself and make your render okay we are almost at the end okay now the render <coughs> the composite render is finished you can go inside of your output folder to see the the folder and the animation just uh, render and here it is simply you see quite simple turn off the light it is simple and this is how I have done it and you can simply make it more complex uh, light animation you can change the color you can play with the light you can add a, a morning light and whatever you like and it will just working so thank you for watching this tutorial don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that we are encouraged to make a more tutorial also make sure that you uh, support us on patreon and also make fun with Luscore engine let's see what you can do with this engine thank you for watching and see you the next time